Once again, the AFC continues to be a gift that keeps mm -hmm. on giving. The quarterbacks are so fun to watch, but Cincinnati sits in the five spot and now the Chiefs in the two spot. So here's the question, though. The top wild card team, the Bengals, are they actually the best team in the AFC, Peter? It, we, we have a reactionary, like, knee-jerk, right? Like, oh, this is like, they won yesterday, so they're the best team, yeah. right? Um, I don't know if any team is beating the Bengals if the Bengals play like they've been playing the last two weeks specifically. Maybe that's not a big enough sample size because they have rattled off wins and they blew out mm -hmm. the Panthers a few weeks. I'm talking about... The last two weeks. Let's start off with yesterday. Joe Burrow was the best quarterback in football yesterday. And I know Derek Carr might have put up better numbers. I know Jalen Hurts uh, might have won another big game and had beautiful passes to A.J. Brown. Joe Burrow, what he did in big moments, third down, coolest customer, was better than Mahomes yesterday when it mattered most and delivered more. And this is the third straight time he's done that. I don't want to face the Bengals in January. I don't. I don't. Because it's not just this. Let, let's go back to last week. Okay. You go last week against the Tennessee Titans. They go into Tennessee mm -hmm. on the road in a hostile place, and they're doing it without Jamar Chase, mm -hmm. and they're doing it without Joe Mixon. And when it matters most, it's Burrow again. So here's what I've looked at when I, when I look at all these teams. Buffalo's red hot again. They went through their lull. They won a big game in New England. Kansas City you never want to face, especially in Arrowhead. However, Cincinnati has this has this robot at quarterback that he doesn't care who's on the field, who's with him, who's on the other end of the sideline, on the other quarterback position. And when they matter most, it seems like Joe Burrow going back to high school, going back to college, and now with a very small sample size in the pros, seems to get the better of everybody on the other side. So are they the best team in the AFC? Right now, the Buffalo Bills are the best team in the AFC, and the Kansas City Chiefs are right there, and the Ravens even are the better team in the AFC North, based on the standings. Who's playing the best football right now? You better believe it's the Cincinnati Bengals. In the last two weeks, I think they solidified their case. Yeah, I mean, they're frightening right now. When you watch the way they won that game and weapons stepping up all over, T. Higgins was the one the week before stepping up with Jamar Chase not being out there. But at the same time, we just can't forget about what you just said, the number one team, the Buffalo Bills. They rattled off three in a row. They're going against one of their division rivals on Thursday night. And the way they beat the New England Patriots, it wasn't just a typical Josh Allen in the pocket, running all over the place, throwing balls down the field to Stephon Diggs and Gabe Davis, putting up 400 yards passing. It was no. Third quarter, we're just going to continue to run the ball and put this game away. We're not doing anything special. We're finding different ways to come out on top. Yes, we saw a glimpse of the Josh Allen, the one on the sideline where he does it, but James Cook, Devin Singletary, handing the ball off to these guys. I think Buffalo now is figuring out, hey, we don't have to win all on the shoulders of Josh Allen. He doesn't have to be a hero week in and week out for us to win the game. We're going to be fine if we just go out there and play our style and our brand of football is going to put us exactly where we need to be. And January 2nd, Monday Night Football, Cincinnati Bengals versus the Buffalo Bills. That's going to be a great game, a fun, marvelous one. I can't think of any more Monday adjectives football. to say. Say it again, January 2nd, January week 2nd, Monday night. Wow. Um, they've never played. Allen and Burrow. They've never played. Wow. Interesting. And so we're going to do this thing. We're doing it on Monday Night Football in Week 17. Now when we look at the home stretch, like what are the best games remaining, that's one of them. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, what, is, what is a more impressive um, resume here? What Peter just brought up, that they did what they did the last two weeks, the mm -hmm. Bengals. The Bills won three road games in 11 days. Mm -hmm. Like, that's pretty awesome. They go to Detroit twice. They win in New England. That's pretty awesome. Um, who do you want in the final two minutes, you want Burrow or do you want Allen? What you you called him a robot? robot. Joe he's wired differently. What is Josh Allen? He's like he's like I'm I think he's like a like a Yeti or like a Sasquatch, like yeah, this giant mm. powerful monster. The robot versus the Yeti. The who you got? The robot <laughs> versus the Yeti. Oh. I think yep. the Yeti is like is more powerful, yep. but I think the robot is maybe a little more dialed. Program so differently. So we gonna guys right there. A Yeti and a robot, you can define that however you want, fight in the woods. Who you got? <laughs> That's our early prediction about Burrow like versus this. Allen. We can't say which is the best team right now. I think they're both playing great. I see the Bills at the top of the list. Huge week for the Bills. Mm -hmm. Jason pointed this out. Versus the Jets. The Bills lost to the Jets. The Bills lost to the Zach Wilson Jets mm -hmm. in a game in which afterwards mm -hmm. Josh Allen says, you can't win when your quarterback plays like bleep. He was not good by his own admission. 
Uh, they got to take care of business against Mike White and, more importantly, Quinn and Williams and that gang. And then we'll talk. And then we're going to be in countdown mode for Bills, Bengals. It's, immediate, it, it's crazy to me how immediately the Chiefs get ushered out of the conversation. Yeah. And you know the Chiefs are going to double back, and yeah. they'll be in this thing. Yeah. Right now, I, I think you can flip a coin between the hey, Bills and the Bengals. Josh Allen beat Mahomes this year. He did. And Joe Burrow he beat Mahomes this year. I think a Chiefs fan would look at that and say, that's fair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they would also say, see us in January. See yeah. us in January. In the meantime, okay. uh, Jamie, where do you come out on Robot versus uh, Yeti? That's one that I just don't want to decide until January 2nd. I also, I also don't want to answer this question because I think it's really tricky, but I do have uh, a late incoming answer that I'd like to pitch to you guys. All right. How about just the home team is the best team in the AFC Maybe right so? now? Because any of these teams, I know the Bills went to Kansas City and beat these guys, but look at these three fields. Okay. When those things are packed, it is nasty mm -hmm. for any team to go in. I don't care if you're a robot. I don't care if you're a Yeti. <laughs> you gotta, the Yeti has to go to Cincinnati. And as Peter pointed out, Elizabeth Blackburn, an executive for the Bengals, sent that email to season ticket holders. And at the, essentially it said, they've got to play us in our house. I think every single one of these teams, the top three teams in the AFC, top four or five, you go to their house, mm -hmm. and it, it gets really ugly. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. down the stretch, mm -hmm. home field advantage for all of these teams, I think that's why this is so hot, the mm -hmm. top of the AFC, is I because know. you're not just fighting to get into the playoffs. A little bit, that's how I feel about the NFC. Get in, play each mm -hmm. other, it'll be fine. AFC, this is getting real spicy about who gets to host down the stretch because that's where I think things will really cook.